So my name is Ugochi Opidegu. I'm not on social media as a safety chief because of my work in raising safety consciousness. I'm the managing partner of a great health and safety business, and I'm an author of the Child Safety Storybook series, The Adventures of Muna. Last year I was here and we read parts of book one. Today I'm here with book two, and I'm in the process of writing book three. This book has sold in 11 states in Nigeria and in seven countries. I hope that inspires somebody that you can start what you're doing and it's going to spread. Last year, I taught the children um, what you're supposed to do when you find yourself in a smoke-filled building. Can somebody remember anything like that? Oh, awesome. So what do you do when you find yourself in a smoke-filled building? Go down low. Yes, please put your hands together. So before I proceed, I want to teach you something different. So today, when I ask you to clap, I would ask you to give a love clap. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so this is how to give a love clap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I blow a kiss. Do you get it? Would you like to try it? Okay, let's give a love clap. of being literate. Being literate is really important because we need you to make the world a safer place. The thing for this year's event is a festival of words. If you do not have the words, you will not be able to communicate. If you do not have the words, no matter how you have the problem you really want to solve, you will not be able to pass information to somebody. Here in Lagos, I found out of a young woman who is very good at making dresses but she hasn't been to school before and she only knows the measurement of herself and that of her child. So what this means is she can only make dresses for herself and her child. No matter how well she knows how to make those dresses, because she, she is not literate, because she cannot put her thoughts together in words and in numbers, she cannot even make money from other people that need her services. Do you see why it's important for you to be able to communicate with words? Do you see why it's important for you to be able to use your numeracy skills? So, around the world, on your streets, in the school, in your place of worship, there will be problems you would love to solve. But if you do not have your literacy skill, if you do not have the words, you would not be able to put that information out there. And that is why your parents and your teachers here are ensuring that you have access to quality education. Please, I would love you to give your parents and the school a love clap. Awesome. <laughs> so, I know how to write and I know how to speak. And the problem I'm trying to solve is to ensure that children all over the world, most especially here in Africa, know what to do to ensure that they do not get into accidents, either on the road or at home, or so they're able to prevent abduction or molestation. How am I using my skills? So I've written a child safety story book so that young children like yourselves can read wherever they are and they can learn. How are you going to use your own literacy and numeracy skills? You need to be able to use them. That is why you are here today. That is why today is very important. That is why your school ensured that you had this week. And so please learn what you need to learn because these skills you are getting now, you need them as you leave the world. Last week I was in Ghana teaching children and teachers how to ensure that children around themselves are safe. Can you see how I'm using my own literacy skills? I hope this inspires you to want to do something. Either now, in the coming weeks, in the coming months, or in the coming years, to ensure that you solve the problem around the world. So I was given just a few minutes, but I'll wrap, I would like to wrap up with a story from my child safety story book. Because I believe that in as much as I go around to inspire children and teach them, I also like to pass on the safety knowledge. Because like we all know, accidents can happen anywhere, right? Yeah. So the title of this story is A Day in Town, from the second volume of The Adventures of Mona. My mommy's friend, Mrs. Guzman, is a lecturer. She teaches in the university. 
She is so cool. She has two children, Zainab and Omar. Zainab is seven years old too, just like me. Today, Mrs. Usman will take us to Wetland Hotel so that I can see the town. On our way there, there was heavy traffic because of an accident. A car had knocked someone down and the careless driver ran away. The accident victim was a woman. She was lying on the floor, bleeding, and no one was helping. There were many people around, but they were just looking, shouting, and taking pictures. I was sad that they did not help her. Mrs. Usman quickly brought out her first aid kit from the car. She dialed the number of the hospital and asked Zainab to tell whoever picked the call to send an ambulance. Mrs. Usman wore gloves and tried to stop the bleeding. We stayed with the woman till the ambulance came and took her away. When we got to the hotel, Mrs. Usman bought us ice cream and taught us about first aid. First aid is an immediate treatment given to an injured person before seeing the doctor. It prevents the injury from getting worse and reduces pain. Some of the things in the first aid kit are gloves, bandage, plaster, pain reliever, scissors, iodine, razor blade, soap, splints, safety pin, and cotton wool. We must always protect ourselves from the body fluids of other people so that we do not get infected. Body fluids could be blood or saliva. We should always call for help and try to help in an emergency instead of just standing or taking pictures. What is the emergency phone number in Lagos State? And one, one, two. What did I say? Can I hear that louder? So Lagos State takes these things very seriously. If you happen to be on the scene of an emergency, please call any of those numbers and somebody would patch that call to the right agency. So say for instance it's a fire or it's just medical aid that is needed, it's be patched through. I would love to say more, but I'll just end it here. I hope you've learned something today, and I hope that it inspires you to try to see how you can use your literacy skills, your numeracy skills to solve problems in the world. Thank you very much.